Hi guys, welcome to Just Basics and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, guys, I'll be showing you the AX2030 TP Links AX1800 dashboard features. Alright, so AX23, guys, is TP Links newest budget Wi Fi 6 router. So if you haven't watched my unboxing video, go ahead and check it out on the description box or up here. Okay, so of course, first step is to make sure you are connected to your AX23 via Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Then let's open a browser and go to its IP address 192.168.0.1. Once the login screen appears, just log in with your local password. This is the password you have set on the initial setup. Once logged in, the first step to appear is the network tab. I love this simple layout where the clickable icons open up menus, internet icon for the internet status, the Wi-Fi icon which shows the following, router information, wireless row for wireless or Wi-Fi names and their passwords, guest networks if you want to enable them, performance where you can see CPU load and memory usage, and the ethernet ports where you can see I am using the LAN 1 and 2 for my wired computers. Next icon is the Mesh icon, one of the new features of modern routers where your device can seamlessly switch from Mesh router or extender rather than manually selecting the network which have the best signal on your location at home. And the last icon is the Client's List, where you can see the devices currently connected to your router. Now from the Network tab, you can already pretty much do most of the things you want to configure like changing Wi-Fi name and passwords and even blocking devices. So TP-Link did a good job by layouting the navigation on their dashboards. Okay, so next up is the internet tab. There are only two settings here. One for the internet type, which is in my case only set to dynamic IP and I have no idea what the others are but Google is there for you guys so if you're interested in them, go ahead and check it out on Google. And the other option is for the Mac cloning which is a good thing to have. Next up is the wireless tab. The settings here can also be adjusted in the router icon under the network map tab. Except for unifying the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, so you'll just have one Wi-Fi name. And setting a password for the guest network. And last is the advanced settings, where all the previous settings are placed plus all the advanced features added. So first is the network menu which shows the status, internet, LAN, IPTV, DHCP server, dynamic DNS, and routing settings. Next is the TP-Link ID. I like this feature because even though you are not connected to your router via Wi-Fi or LAN cable, you can access and modify its settings. You just need to log in your TP-Link ID and bind the router to it, then you can use the Tether app to change the settings. You can see that on my unboxing video guys, so feel free to check it out, link in the description. And on the wireless menu, there is the wireless settings and guest network again. So it's redundant. There is this wireless schedule, a parental feature where you can set a specific time when wireless is enabled. Then there's WPS and some additional settings. Next menu is for NAT forwarding for advanced users out there. So AX23 has this port forwarding port triggering, UPnP, and DMS. Next menu is parental controls. Now this is not a simple parental control because you can set profiles here. Like let's say make one for your kids and then you can set filters and website blocking specific for your kids profile as well as time controls. Then you can also make a profile let's say for your guests or for your neighbors. Then you can just add them to a specific profile you made. Amazing, right? Next menu is the QoS to prioritize the internet traffic of specific device to guarantee a faster connection. Next menu is the security with the firewall settings, access control, IP and MAC filtering, and ALG. Next is the VPN server and AX23 comes with OpenVPN and PPTP. And next one is the IP6 settings, which I leave it as it is. Next one is a Smart Life Assistant, where you have Alexa. You can communicate with your router by just using voice commands. So you can say, Alexa, 
ask TP-Link to prioritize gaming. Or, Alexa, ask TP-Link to turn off floodlights. Well, I wish I have Alexa. Next menu, guys, is for one mesh settings. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have any mesh device, but hopefully I'll have soon. The next menu is the system settings. Like firmware update, backup and restore, administration where you set the local router admin password, the system logs, diagnostics, time and language, reboot, LED control. I like this LED light control because I can set it if LED lights will be on or I can set a time like in my case, I set it off from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. And operational mode where you can set the routers as a wireless router or an access point. So there you have it guys, the dashboard features of the new AX23 Wi-Fi 6 router of TP-Link. And if you have further clarifications or questions, just let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer that. And if you haven't watched my unboxing video, go ahead and check it below. Or you can also check the link in the description box. And, and check out other um, related videos on my channel as well. And don't forget to subscribe before you move on to the next video. And hit the like button as a bonus for me. And see you on my next video. Bye!